Spot Us. We fundraise for independent journalists, representing table number six. Um, what up? Uh, so, so we talked about uh, three main points. I'll put the first one and the last one in the middle so to confuse everybody. Uh, so the, we were just basically talking about what it looks like if, if everybody is contributing. And there are a couple things that came up. One is that uh, it's really empowering for people to, to, con to create something. And that some of the benefits aren't going to be just where people are contributing, right? Um, people that are creating are also leaders, or leaders are creators. Uh, and so when you're contributing on something uh, in one place online, it's going to benefit you in your regular life. We're going to end up having more leaders in, in the general world. Uh, we also talked about what it looks like. Um, right now there's, of course, a, an ongoing debate about, you know, uh, uh, there's, it's easier to find like-minded people, which is great, but there's also a problem of you need to be introduced and exposed to people of other ideas and other opinions. And we're not 100% sure what that looks like when a lot of people are contributing, but we like to think uh, that you know, it becomes a, a, an easier and more civil way to engage with people that have opposing points of view, but that there's still the safe haven of finding like-minded people. And the last thing uh, that we talked about was, again, there's this notion, or we sort of posit the thesis that once you start becoming engaged in something, it's really hard to become passive again. And engaging you know, online is a lot easier than engaging offline. And so it's sort of like a gateway drug to civic engagement. Um, and what happens if it becomes so easy for people to engage online, um, and then that becomes the gateway to engaging elsewhere. That's it.